Now at 6, the Broward Sheriff's Office has lost its law enforcement accreditation following criticism over its handling of two mass shootings. The Commission for Florida Law Enforcement Accreditation Commission voted unanimously to strip the voluntary certification. And in a strange twist of fate, Scott Israel, the former embattled sheriff who is in, was in charge at the time of the shootings, took his first step to launch a campaign to get his old job back. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live at BSO headquarters with the details and reaction from the current sheriff who will also be Israel's main challenger. Ted. Yeah, Rudaban Elliott, this is, there's, we're not going to see any major changes in the way BSO operates by losing this accreditation. It's voluntary and basically means that the agency meets more than 250 professional standards. Now, tonight, the current sheriff says that the loss of this accreditation is disheartening. BSO losing its voluntary accreditation from the Commission for Florida Law Enforcement Accreditation. It was yanked last week, citing the airport shooting and Parkland massacre as the reason. That was under suspended Sheriff Scott Israel's watch. Current Sheriff Gregory Tony responded, saying in part, it is disheartening for the hardworking members of the Broward Sheriff's Office to lose our accreditation because of the previous administration's mishandling of two devastating events in our community. Since recently taking command, I have worked on improving BSO and repairing the effects of bad leadership and negligence by focusing on training and community relations. Meanwhile, Israel announced he's running to get his old job back. And I want to get back to, you know, the job that the folks of Broward County elected me to do and will re-elect me to do in 2020. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis removed him from office, citing incompetence and negligence because of the Parkland massacre and deadly shooting at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. We can't have one governor decide the fate of Broward County because he wants to use words that he can't prove like incompetent and negligence. This is about the citizen of Broward, of Broward County. Israel was in Tallahassee last month asking the Senate to toss out the governor's suspension. While there's no ruling on that yet, Israel said voters will look at his accomplishments. Right now, I mean, you have the, the cloud hanging over with the, with the governor suspending you saying uh, negligence as well as incompetence. How do you come back from that? Well, nobody believes that. Uh, that's an audience of one. Sheriff Tony was appointed by the governor. He plans to run for sheriff as well, saying, I intend to run for election to ensure that Broward is always first. He continued, I am focused on improving the Broward Sheriff's Office and correcting the long neglected issues that have jeopardized our community's safety in the past. Despite being removed from office, Israel said he's confident that voters will re-elect him. Shame on the governor for taking the elected sheriff of the Broward County, of the citizens of Broward County, away from them. That's what this is all about. And we asked Scott Israel for a comment regarding that loss of accreditation. He chose not to respond. Live at BSO headquarters, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.